chatting this morning with Dr. Vanus James, who is an economist. So, good morning. Can you Hello, hear? morning. Good morning. Thank you for joining us this morning, Dr. Vanus James. Morning, morning. So, the question is the effect of COVID-19 in Trinidad and Tobago as pertains to the economy, to, to business and such. What are some of the major concerns right now as pertains to, um, you know, uh, maybe an economic downturn because of the virus? Well, once the, the government begins to push and, uh, and once the society begins to respond to the need for social distancing, which is the main prevention mechanism for disease, infectious disease spread, what that will do is drive down demand in the businesses. And um, that is going to threaten significant cash flow problems and, uh, in general, business failure. And the small businesses will be the first to be negatively affected. Uh, that, of course, will then spin off significant unemployment. So what that signals is that in addition to the issues relating to health, which, of course, would be the primary set of issues, there are significant and major secondary uh, negative demand issues that will be coming up. Now, there are also supply side issues because remember what, what COVID is doing is that it's causing, in China, the Bayou's case, is causing the crash of oil prices. Right. Well, oil prices are this morning at $29 uh, per barrel. And what that means is we're going to see our heritage and stabilization fund uh, negatively affected. We're going to see or foreign exchange shortages showing up as usual when oil price crashes. And that will then create supply side problems for the country because we import most of everything. And, and bear in mind too that um, what it has done in China, which is a, a, one of our major sources for imports, is it's caused their economy to crash about 20, 25%. Right. So you will have a lot of small and medium sized businesses who import directly from China who cannot get supplies to put on the stores. So not only will demand crash, there will be significant supply challenges. And those will affect food and, and other items as well, all of which we import significantly in order to... Okay. Right. Yes, um, you know, it, it is very worrying. And um, as you correctly mentioned that, you know, especially small business owners, micro and small enterprise owners, uh, they would be the ones first affected and, and, and most... Uh, hit most, um, hit hardest, rather. That's right. So what can, what can businesses, small businesses and individuals do to, you know, at least buffer the effect of this or, or, or to help their businesses stay afloat? Well, once you face, once you face a problem like this, you kind of have to go down the road of what, uh, that Jamaica has been going down uh, in the last day or so. The Jamaican government just yesterday announced a major tax break for businesses and um, that's to address the cash flow and the liquidity problems businesses would face remember what you need to do is have is create a kind of purgatory freeze the situation where it is now and prevent the businesses from failing so that once the threat of the disease um, they can recover and ramp up at the economy in quick time so what the government really ought to be thinking about now, in, ad in addition to the, the, the gap that has shown up in the budget from last year and the 8.3 billion the minister said he would raise, uh, 15 billion or so to provide liquidity to businesses or, or bank to become a source of that liquidity. But government needs a proactive, immediate proactive policy. A bailout plan, a, a right. survival Dr. plan. Dr. James, uh, in unfortunately, the form of large scale liquidity flows to the businesses. Dr. James, so that, that would have to cover their wage rates, their interest rates, and their tax bills in order that the economy could keep functioning in some minimal way. All right, thank you, thank you, Dr. Vance James. We do have a little issue with the feed, unfortunately, but thank you for all you've shared, and we will uh, link back with you in the near future so that we could uh, continue to ventilate this uh, other pressing issue Very that important. is caused by the COVID 19. Yes.